welcome, welcome everyone, it's time for more Pacific Drive, where last time we started everything off, we got in our car, well, we sort of already were in our car when the game began, we drove off, and, uh, well, currently we're in the zone, uh, the zone is a place with a bunch of instability, and, uh, pockets of stability. We are in a pocket of stability right now, and we're going to a pocket of stability. A second pocket of stability, I believe. Have I not? Okay, ho hold on, what's going on? Right, there we go, thank you. <laughs> I, th I thought I had already set this. I hadn't I? Was this just not on? I think it was just not on. Cool. Anyway, we have uh, learned a little bit about this uh, place, which is indeed that... Uh, you know, sealed off section. There are people in here, which is kind of weird. We have a man called, I believe, Tobias, and a man called Francis. They are sort of trying to help me. We are in Office Auto Shop, which is uh, this lovely place, which is where we have uh, learned a little bit about how the game works, insofar as, you know, putting our car together enough that we can drive it. We have a sort of craft mat. We have, like, this thing which is the workbench, but we have also installed a uh, craft mat in our car, which means that we can sort of deal with stuff while we're on the road. I suppose the cardboard boxes, they're, yeah, they're just basic storage. So, for example, the spare tire. I do not need to have the spare tire in my, in my backpack. What else do I have? I kind of want those, I think, but we do not need to have all of these materials. I just realized this, so we're going to dump all the lovely materials over here. Uh, we have some repair putty, also do not need to have that. This, however, I will have. Now, by the way, can I... Can I not, uh, like, rotate this thing? I don't think I can rotate it. It would fit very lovely in here. But apparently they are just stuck in being that way. That's fine, then. We can put you down. There we go. So, yes, indeed. We apparently also are driving a remnant. Somehow this car is a remnant. I don't know what that means. I suppose we're gonna find out, but right now I do not know what that means. Something important, I bet, but yes, do not know exactly what. So we are indeed gonna travel, and we're gonna travel up to this place, and we can... Uh, we have seen that there are some stuff over here, a bunch of resources, and that is obviously very important. So I think that that is about it. We are patched up, our car is running, so to speak. Well, not, not actually running, but you know what I mean. So, uh, all right then. Oppie, I believe, said to go out left. Now, we need to check some stuff, because bloody hell. Uh, right, we had this thing. So, this is abilities. Okay, and I can set abilities if I had any. So, I can, I understand F, control, and space. What's the up arrow? Is that tab? But that's just... Okay, I don't know, 100% know what that is. We don't have any abilities, so I don't we... I, I suppose we don't... You know, care so much about that. So that's our map, we have installed this one. So we are indeed going this way, which... Hold on! Wait, no. No, no, not that either. Get, get out! Hold on, hold. Let me just check for a moment, we're here. Right? We're supposed to go there. Isn't this north? How is this map aligned? How is this map aligned? Can I... Oh, 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 that's just the first aid kit. Oh, hold on. I, I just... <laughs> this is for my sake. Where's north? Where, where is, where is north? Ooh, oh, here we go. By the way, yes, I didn't know about that. So, atmospheric shifts, anomaly density, radiation density, uh, zone storm, then fuel density, vehicle density, building density, resource density. Cool. So, this uh, place, if we go here, you can see that there's a bit of atmospheric shifts. I don't know if that's fine. It says okay, so that's good. And perpetual stability, which is nice. But again, isn't this north? Why would you not have the map? Pointing north. It's so weird. Alright, then you know what? I'm not gonna think too much more about that. Feels like I'm almost stalling here. She did say go out left, and we can indeed confer that that, that is the case. So let's just uh, oh. need to really hold that in, huh? Uh, get it to drive and we're off. And we are gonna put this the wipers on immediately. We're gonna put the where was the hold on? C was wipers. 
Uh, well, we, we used just that. Ah, there we go. Z. Z was uh, that. I don't know why I'm starting this in the bloody dead of night. Well, it isn't dead of night. Oh, okay. We're immediately coming to a thing. What is that? Why is there a weather balloon here? That is interesting. So again, I don't know what the sort of enemies are in this game. There's going to be enemies. I'm pretty damn sure of that. Okay. So what do we have here? We have warnings. So launching that that is the same as before, yes. But what the hell is this thing? Checkpoint, you say? Oh. Oh, are we not actually driving? All right. I thought that we would be, you know, literally be driving, but it does say three hours. That's true. But still. All right, let's see what happens if we click here and sort of confirm. Well, what does happen is that, uh, right, we simply just travel. <laughs> okay. okay, newbie, oh. I'll Hello. keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. All right, then. So, I suppose if we have... Do I have a map? I don't even have a map. But I suppose we can travel. But that doesn't look like we can travel freely. That literally looks like a, like we're barred from going there. That as well. Okay, I thought it was going to be slightly more like open world-ish. But, uh, all right. Intriguing. Also, yep, very rare. So that's like a roadblock. Cool. Right, so, uh, okay, you know what? Uh, ho hold on. Uh, put it in the park. What do we have? We are currently here. There's a bunch of stuff over here. Okay. That there we cannot go. So I suppose our first stop is just going to be here. I can put a bit of a marker. Lovely. So that's over there. Right. <laughs> okay, we're going to be learning a bit. That's a okay. So we can, as you said, sort of get out into the world and just uh, look for things. If I come across an enemy right now, what the hell do I do? We have something over here. You said something. The some device oh. is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Uh huh. So that's it. Turn off, get out. These are plasma generators. Okay, and the scanner was. Uh, how did I get to the scanner? Uh, not F. Not there. I can zoom. It's the scanner. Um, find and scan. I should probably just be running up to it. Uh, yeah, C. All right, C. But uh, C, I can. Oh, I can't do it from here. Can't do it from here. There we go. Ah, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. All right, then. Collect materials and craft the replacement parts. But that's. Um, Right, Atomalist Impact Hammer. Uh, right, there we go. We go to Blueprints, Impact Hammer, we mark it, and now we know what to get on the Find left Find those there. materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Transports, homes, outposts, facilities, they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just loot away. I see. So we have a vehicle here. We can start dealing with that. And the area seems to be, you know, quiet and everything. So we can do something with this. Scan it. Recommend the tool. I have you back. out in the zone all on your own. They grow so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. Okay, so they have some repertoire there. Lovely. 
Uh, toolbox, let's check in the toolbox. We have a bunch of stuff, so let's just uh, transfer materials. There we go, there's the button. And yeah, now we are, we are basically just uh, rummaging around the place. We are... Okay, on the left there. Yeah, you, you can see that, obviously. So we have... Oh, do we mean that uh, with... I was wondering why the second line was sort of to the right a bit. I suppose that means that I can take six of those to make two of those, and then I would have everything, so that's fine. Uh, we have a backpack full of batteries and fabric. Nice, we'll take that too. Can I take this? I apparently cannot take that. Okay, fair enough. So, yeah, what I was uh, talking about... Ew, are the crates more stuff. What I was talking about in the uh, previous episode, obviously, is that uh, uh, scrapper, cool. Um, is that uh, exactly how much of this do you want to see? Because I don't think that you want to see that much of this. But we can uh, scrap a few things. Like this TV. Bam. Get a whole bunch of stuff. Electronics, copper wire seems useful. Scap this. It's gonna be the scrapper as well. There we go. Bunch of stuff. Because, yeah, just to uh, see me run around looting materials kind of feels like uh, that's not gonna be too interesting for too long. For a while, sure, but uh, like not for too long. So uh, we shall see exactly what I do about that. Now, I do. We've already seen that. Uh, the people that talk to us, they do talk to us in... What do I have? Hey, uh, uh, driver! I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. Oh, can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind, until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. Lovely. Gotta be honest, I kind of missed some of that because I was focused on focusing on this. I don't notice that was what's up here. I'm probably just gonna have to look at that <laughs> when I was recording, rather when I'm doing my editing, just to see exactly what it was he said. This was probably a little bit important. Anyway, it says locked. Fix primer, but it isn't locked because it's. I've literally looted it. So why does it say locked? All of these say locked. I don't understand. <laughs> I do not understand. Also, did I not have a flashlight? It's bloody hell it's cold. Or cold. Not cold. Uh, bloody hell it's uh, dark in here. I picked up a bunch of stuff so we can, as a matter of fact, go and fix this thing. We could get uh, scrap and stuff here. Ooh, did you have by any chance? Uh, no, that is empty. So now, uh, we have everything we need. I don't even have to uh, uh, get the piece. Oh, I do need gears. Okay, okay. I do need to construct some gears. There we go. So we can craft uh, one, two. And now we go back to impact hammer. And would you believe it? We can craft an impact hammer. Whatever natural resource can be carefully extracted. Sometimes you need some pneumatically assisted force. The Captain Bolt device is ideal for fracturing crystals, dislodging the pause is more just smashing. So I suppose uh, smashing good for potential enemies, huh? Okay, well, let's start by smashing this thing. So, 
Uh, bam. There we go. Lovely. So we have some plasma and some glass shards. I'll take those two. Thank you. So now you need more. We need five in total. Oh. Oh, no. I thought we heard something. You know what? There's no reason to have the car all the way over here. That seems almost a little bit stupid. So we shall just uh, turn our car on and we'll head in here. Because again, we can get some more equipment. And when I say equipment, uh, just resources. Scrapping the car doesn't seem like the most important bit, but we are finding, as a matter of fact, good stuff in here. So. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Okay, we can see we can get in here, but how? Do I really not have a flashlight? <laughs> it's bloody hell, it's dark. Okay, this is all... Would like to go... Oh, yeah, okay, we can't go there. <laughs> Very clearly. Now, how do I get in here? Uh, so I'm not seeing an entrance. Did I miss the entrance? Okay. Hmm. There's definitely stuff inside of here. The radiation hazard, you see. Okay, I can just uh, get it from here then. That easier. Uh, yep, that is uh, much easier. Okay. Some good stuff there too. But yeah, I suppose we're not supposed to go in there. Uh, we can go in here though. Oh, hello. No, that is just uh, a door. And obviously, this one's not bad to get, because, uh, you know, I suppose some electronics, pressurized cartridges, you see, good stuff, good stuff. Hearing some potential noises. A uh, refrigerator, ooh, that's interesting. Right, I didn't grab the flares before, because the uh, tea only gets the resources. I did, I do have five flares, though. Oh. Canned food, uh, am I? Hungry, by the way, in this game. Because I'm vaguely thinking I'm not, so canned food. I'm not 100% sure what we use that for. But there we go. I think that we are largely done here. So, we're gonna just settle all out, so to speak. We'll crash the car. We'll crash the... Damn it! Uh, so what is say as well, recommended collect materials and craft replacement work. Yeah, we know about that too, so maybe I should scrap that. So if we go into blue, for instance, check, like, let's say, okay, I haven't actually found out about, uh, um, about steel stuff, but scrap metal is something that we are gonna need. Hmm. You know what, we're gonna we're gonna move on a bit. Simply because I want to. And if I come across more stuff that would have scrap metal, we're gonna look for scrap metal. I can say oh hello. Oh hello. Oh hello. What the hell are you and what do I do about you? So you seem like bad news, okay? You seem like... What the hell even is that? <laughs> it's a collection of junk. Which I suppose is uh, is what it is, because if we defeat it, we just get a bunch of, well, resources. Okay, and well, I think that... Now move back. Do you have, like, a... Detection range? <laughs> no idea, but... Coming up to here, I can see a whole bunch of plasma generators, and there that's the tower that sort of saps you apparently. So how does that work? Am I not able to go close to them? I think that's very angry. <laughs> okay. You didn't give me any information about what to do about that. How do I handle that then? Oh. Or is it just a matter of, you know, don't be where the energy is, potentially? That might literally be it. So if we just, uh, again, turn off, turn off. If I go out with this, 
Let me just make sure that I don't get hit by the zappy thing. Oh. Okay, I can scan the thing. Can I? There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Like, don't get hit by it. But we seem to be fine. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, okay, just, uh... Bam! Good stuff, good stuff. Run. I don't hope I didn't miss anything. We have some stuff, but I only picked up one now. And that means that is also turned off. Cool, alright. You just stay there, car. And we we'll go and deal with this. So I think that, that is literally what's going on here. Yeah, so bam. With that, we're done with the plasma. Oppie, you wanna... Well, looks like you're near hey? one of the old gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower uh, up on a hill somewhere. Okay. That seems reasonable. Antennas would be high up. True, true, true. And scan that again. Uh, right. So look at radio station. Again, collect materials for replacement parts. We will eventually. But also, I have a question, which is that if we go into here, my scrapper... I just rearranged. I don't know what that is, but durability. Can I affect the durability? Sign, drop, equip, etc. etc. No, he has to equip it. I didn't even rearrange anything. I don't know. Or are we in a world where I have to basically... Yes, create a new one. I can do it. I have scrap metal and plastic, so I can create a new one immediately. So that's good. Right. The music is still very loud, by the way. Even though I have it set to maybe not the lowest, but pretty damn low. Alright then, you want me to go in there. You're gonna go past a whole lot of stuff, and there seems to be, you know, some sort of squiggly road here. But that's fine. Let's just be on our way again. This is all very fascinating, this game, so far. And I do enjoy being out in the daytime. That's also very nice. But yeah, we are very much in, like, pockets of... Well, I, I suppose that's true. Is this whole place then a pocket of stability? And outside is instability. So we definitely don't want to go past that because that might you know, probably kill us or something, maybe. Uh, right. Gas radio station camping. So radio, sh radio station sounds like a good thing. Now, we have some stuff over here. Let's take off here. So we are going to be a bit free with how we travel, I suppose. Now we are on that uh, squiggly road. Oh, I see another one of you guys. Okay. Not 100% sure how we're going to kill it, but I have a hammer. <laughs> so hopefully that'll be a good thing. I did see... Yeah, I saw one of you there, too. It was, it was one of you. I did see the coloration, and I... It was going to be one of them. Are you observant? Because it doesn't feel like you are observant, not necessarily. Uh, Do we get in here? Oh. Do we get in here? I suppose. Electrician's kit, huh? Okay. I do hear you. Electrician's kit. Is that something I have now learned about? Right. No, 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 I have had an electrician's kit. No, I had a mechanic's kit, I think. Electrician's kit I have not learned about. Okay, so we need a blueprint for an electrician's kit in order to be able to get in here. Alright then, that doesn't help us at this point in time. So we're going back out on the squiggly road, and we're gonna... That over there is something very red and angry at the top there. Okay, so we're going to be a bit observant against these guys. I mean, at some point we're going to have to deal with you guys. Somehow. But uh, I'm going to try and make it not this time specifically. Maybe. We don't seem like super observant. I'm going to sort of work on the assumption that if you are outside of their little coloration zone or whatever. Which I am not so good at right now. 
not good at all. Did you? Yeah, you don't seem uh, too observant. Which is absolutely fine with me. Let's see, what is that angry red thing? It's something. Oh, did not mean to do that. <laughs> uh, there is something very red and angry over there. Okay, so you're covering this. I'm just gonna have this out. Can we sneak by? Yes, we can. Lovely. There we go. We got in. Okay, more stuff for us. Awesome. Oh, hello. Oh, that's yes, just a jar. Nothing too interesting. Uh, a lock. I would really like to. Do I really not have a <laughs> flashlight? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a look at that, but I don't think we do. This would be at like F, but that's kick. Uh, C, no. V was just switch. Okay, so I can eat. All oh, right, so canned food is basically just health. Then. Fair enough. That makes sense. Okay, well, we have some stuff over here. Cabinet, chemicals, cartridges, etc. etc. Right, oh, here we go. Backpack too. What stuff. How many can I stack? I don't know. So I would assume that what we do with like a flare is throw it then. Like what I did with this thing. Yes, but not like an idiot. That could be a thing we do with that. Oh, door into here. Lab computer. That's been the scrapper, which is going to be done very soon. Or by done, I mean the durability is gone. It's going to, you know, get destroyed. But for now, we're finding good stuff. Oh, hello. What is this? Oh, hand back. <gasps> Got a hand back. Okay. Well, now we have a problem because... Um, well, actually, we don't have a problem. We don't have a problem at all, as a matter of fact. We do not have a problem. Because what I have is a car, damn it. And I can place stuff in the car. So, can I... Yeah, just transfer by doing this. So, there are... I gotta, be, I gotta say, I'm a bit amazed. There are a lot of different resources in this game. Okay, fair enough. Those are the same, so we can sort of replace those with each other. But yeah, all the other ones are different. That is, uh, that is not nothing. Uh, right, but we have a hand back. I don't have to construct one, which is nice. Get, get in. There we go. So hand back was in here. No, it was. Uh, where was it? Where was the hand back? Was it in here? Oh, there, there, there. Uh, thank you. So now we can get, uh, now we can get the thing. If we find that, we like those lights. Hello. Oh, oh. No, I don't, I really do not think that you have a lot of range on your perception, so to speak. You also don't seem to be very much on the listening side either. So, right then. Do I want to gather some more scrap? I mean, I can do this right now, can't I? Now that I think about it. Like, I can get a rare bumper. Is that a... Yeah, crude bumper. Uh, crude doesn't seem good, but I can make it, because I have all the stuff. So get that. Uh, Scan it. Uh, do I have it in my inventory? Yes, I do. Equip that. And install. Bam! Crude bumper. We also need a... What is that? That is a panel. So we want to do a crude panel. Do one of those. Cool. Same thing again. Oh, I actually have it equipped on this occasion. So we simply didn't equip it immediately before. There we go. We've done that. If I can, a left headlight. Can I do a headlight too? Uh, no, because I need more duct tape. So there we go. I'm lacking duct tape, but I would assume I can make duct tape. No. <laughs> Cannot make duct tape. Uh, right. Get in. 
move forward because I'm very curious about this thing over here. Oh. Did I? Oh, I literally did not turn it on. There we go. <laughs> right. But we have a place for if I, you know, basically, yeah, if I want to, between episodes, go and get some scrap. I know where I can get it. There's a whole bunch of it here. Oh, okay. okay. So what is this place? Or am I literally just doing a shortcut thing of a jig here? Because I think that is what I'm doing. Oh. oh, I don't like that. Okay. Point taken. Don't go in that. It's like a good way to lose the car. I can see that uh, that thing is like covered in the stuff. So that's not cool. But I have found the road again, so that is cool. Lovely. I will say hearing noises in the background, which I don't like. That radio station's up on a hill somewhere. Eyes to the horizon. Uh-huh, gotcha. Oh, maybe we shouldn't be exactly here. That is a bit too close. Turn off, turn off, get out. So we are gonna get that. So plasma, it just uh, feels like plasma is going to be one of those things where you simply pick it up as uh, as quickly as you can, so to speak, or as much as you can. It just feels like one of those things. So we have a gas station, but yeah, what the hell is going on over here? I do not trust any of that. I do not trust any of that. Do I trust this, though? Is this? Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. So everything is getting a bit anomaly here. So I can't do that. That says I can't get in, though. Hello. Hello, anomaly. Okay, a pothole, apparently, we call this. Everything is very weird. Uh, but I can't. Oh, sorry about that. Can't really do much. In oh, here we go. A phone. Lovely. Let's scrap a phone. There we go. A whole bunch of stuff. Which just floats away. Lovely. Uh, yeah, I mentioned it in the uh, last episode, which is that it all kind of... It all kind of feels a bit uh, Tales from the Loopy, for those of you who have seen that series. Very much feels like it's in that sort of a universe, even. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, what the hell was that noise? There was a noise. Was that like just... Ambient noise? Or should I be concerned? Let's, uh, let's assume I don't have to be concerned right now. Uh, so... I mean, I don't know how scary this game is. I don't feel that it's scary necessarily. I feel like this might be more in the, like Generation Zero territory. So you have a pump with fuel in it, somehow. Like, I don't know why people wouldn't just uh, get all the fuel while they can. But we have some free fuel here. And this is going to be something I can do with a pry bar. Well, bam. Good, good, good. Are we cool? We can also, you know, crawl or crouch. Not 100% sure how relevant that is going to be, but we can do it. And also, angry red light, that's always a good sign, right? That is always a good sign. Okay, we have stuff in here, but really not much. Ooh, tardigrade warning. Psychic disruption may affect work. Ooh, tardigrades that are giant. Intriguing, so that's going to be a thing. Uh, you know what, we're... I was about to say we're fine, we don't need to do that, but we can do it. Yeah, we can do the phone too. I'm gonna have to make uh, another one of these scrappers pretty damn soon. There we go, copper wire, plastic, etc. And a 9 volt battery, love it. But, uh, have I picked up any duct tape? That's the question. Uh, let's bring our car up. And we'll fuel it up as much as I can, because, you know, why not? So, get in. I liked, I liked it, this thing, just turning it on and getting and putting it into park, etc, etc. All of that is just super 
Super nice. So, alright. Turn off. This is just a good feeling. Just a good feel to do that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our can. We're gonna fill up from the can. Like so. Good. And then we're gonna fill up the can. So... Oh, no. How do I... No, I'm an idiot. Oh. You see, I don't like that sound, okay? Yeah, I'm an idiot. Why can't... Or rather, why can't I... Hold on. Uh... Hmm. I can't actually fill up the fuel can. Well, that was a bit of a, an annoyance. That can I... Oh, I can probably do this. Can't I? Why can't I... Why can't I... Fuel, oh, I can do a fuel can. Uh, why can't I siphon the fuel of my own car? Ooh, damn it. There is just noise. <laughs> and again, I don't know how... How... Rather, how... Um, word I should be about that. I see those noises. I do not like them. It feels like there's going to be, you know, big things in here, uh, not just uh, small things. Okay, we can get in here, I suppose. I now have my trusty gas can with me. I don't know why I brought it, but I did. Uh, okay, door, toilet, I suppose. Even though I really can't, I really need to get a flashlight because uh, this is a little bit on the annoying side. I'm gonna probably just look at that in episodes, maybe? I don't know. We should be fine for now, though. But yes. Oh. The remote sap crystal, you say? It's just noise. <laughs> the remote sap crystal. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We can end the episode, by the way, by just looking at the things. I think. I am annoyed at the fact that I can't... If I... If I grab this... Oh, does it extend that far? <laughs> I was wondering if I can fill up the uh, fuel can from that. Can I? Let's uh, do this. Let's back up. Turn around. Let's turn around. Back up. Lovely. Oh, again, turn off car. Turn off car, get out. Now, can I? Can I do this? Uh, get you. And yes, yes I can. Awesome. It worked. Lovely. And uh, yeah, we're fine. Good, good, good. We can do it that way. Right. Um, have I picked up duct tape? No, I haven't. Can I store all of this? Yes, I can. Good, good, good. Uh, I'm gonna have that there. That is there. Again, can't I... Oh, no, didn't mean to do that. I want this here, but I really would love to be able to rotate it. I suppose that is just a thing we cannot do. Uh, so you can go in here, because that fits. And you can go in here, because that fits. Good. Right. In we go, and on we go. Because we are going... Oh, not here. Could be a bit slower, or rather, sorry, a bit slower, a bit uh, faster on the uh, starting of the car. That would be nice. But all right, then we're moving on to where we're supposed to be, which is what the hell is going on over there? Uh, where is he? Which is the radio tower, which is uh, probably the angry red thing. I would suspect. Uh, yeah. Coming up to a road, I suppose we are going to go with the car as much as we can. But yeah, see, this is what I kind of like about this game already, which is, you know, the car. The fact that we're going where we're supposed to go with a car. It's just an interesting variant of the whole survival genre, I think. Like, imagine... Oh! Right! Never liked dummies. <laughs> you are dummies, right? I really hope you're dummies. 
Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, see, yeah, they actually are dummies. Like, literally, they are test dummies. Okay. <laughs> I was actually meaning mannequins, but no, those are literal test dummies. Okay. But yeah, imagine playing like the forest, but with a car. That would be quite interesting. But uh, we're not in that universe, we're in this universe where a car makes perfect sense because it's a remnant and probably special somehow, as we will most likely find out later. Okay. Lovely music to accompany us here as we make our way around. Here we go. Okay. Broadcast transmitter, collect parts from the radio station and tap on. Sure thing. Sure thing. And we have this thing. A broadcast transmitter is what we need. Right ho. We have more we can't get into. Is it that thing that's making noises? It could be. Okay. Uh -huh. We have a crate, only with some plastic though. It's not what I need. Here we have more plastic and more batteries. We have a lot of batteries, and it's very interesting. Uh, friendly dumpster or unfriendly dumpster. Ooh, bloody hell, a lot of stuff here. Duct tape, lovely. Uh, but also a bunch of other things. Get all that. Okay, click parts from the. Oh, right. Did I just miss that this is where the door is? No, this this is where the door is, but. Uh, no, can't scan that. So, how would one get into the building? So, I'm not immediately seeing it. There's noises over there, too. Yeah, there's just. There's doors. Not allowed in the doors. Okay. And I. When did I take damage? Because I see I have 69% damage. Why do I have 69? <laughs> when did I take damage? Uh, fuel tank with a little bit of fuel on it. Okay. Color me a bit confused. What am I. missing? Or am I crafting the thing? Can I craft a broadcast transmitter? Is that, is that a thing? Uh, Putty kit, etc. No, I'm not crafting it. I can make a whole bloody engine, by the way, <laughs> which is fascinating. Uh, okay. So I assume if I do anything here. Oh! Time to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the Octavice display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the Octavice to charge it. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. Awesome. So let's uh, store the thing. Broadcast transmitter. I thought that we were finding and making one. No, we're literally just grabbing it. Right, because we are going back to the shop in order to install it there, I think. Yes. So let us... Oh, bloody hell, look at that. <laughs> Look at all of that. Is are those okay? Those we don't want. Gotcha. Uh, but we need to go like back around. Or, oh, got it. That was the actual wrong way I was intended to go. So we're basically just gonna try and make it out of here and not hit anomalies. And that is interesting. What she de definitely, or rather, it's definitely interesting what she said, which is that. Uh, all of this is going to be one-way things. So you don't go into an area, then you just uh, gently pop uh, out the way you came. No, you have to actually travel through the area to get out. That is a, that is a cute, uh, cute idea from the developers, I suppose. So let us 
get out of the road, but we do want to take a right. That was way too much break. Okay, can I... Oh, oh can I... Oh, wait. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, can I not uh, nudge through here? I think I can. I think I can nudge through here. Yeah, no worries. That's okay. Do I... Nah, let's just, let's just ignore that one. Right, so we're gonna come up to an anomaly over here. A big one over there, apparently, but more important, there is one here. So how do we handle it? Okay. Uh-huh. Is, is that re a relevant thing? Are we, are we not saying anything about that? I'm just gonna keep a little bit of distance to it. <laughs> and we're off to another one of these red things. Right. So if we go here, presumably... What do we do now? I suppose we click this. How do I... Use Dark to Ice Night Locator and right to an Anchor site. Oh. Is this not an anchor site? Oh no, are those anchor sites? Are those anchor sites? Hold on. <laughs> are those anchor sites? Maybe they are anchor sites. Oh, ah, crap. Don't, don't, don't wreck the car. Why does it look like my doors are open? <laughs> I have that symbol. That's the open door symbol. It's because I'm lacking. It's because I'm lacking a trunk or something. Was I supposed to go to this thing? I was! Take the anchor. Okay. I need to remove it. Those oh. anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's Limtech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face recently. Okay, so we grab a stable anchor. Getting car. Okay. The anchor. Okay, how do I feed the anchor into the How do I do that then? No, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, how do I how do I feed it? Uh, how do I feed it? Not a hundred percent sure. Do I have it? Oh, I have. Oh, right. Sorry about that. I realized what I have to do. Oh, oh! Damn you! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Through you, weird thing. Here we go. Arc device. Jab it in there. And now... We've done that. Bloody hell. <laughs> Collect anchors until the arc device is fully charged. Cool. We shall do that, but uh, we're not going to be doing that right now because I actually have to go. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna end the episode right here. We picked up one arc device. We have uh, a few more. Point three apparently I got from that. So we're gonna have to get more of it. But that's a okay. Close you. So we're gonna leave this off here. I think that I should be able to uh, end here. And if nothing else, I have to just replay a little bit. We shall see exactly how. For the love of God, I should move the car. <laughs> I should really move the car. Uh, uh, get in drive, because that thing is just going to knack my car if I don't do this. Right, there we go. Screw you. <laughs> so uh, we're going to come back with this uh, in the next episode. We'll learn a little bit about, uh, you know, resource gathering, etc., etc. Which is going to be important uh, later. So... Uh, yeah, we're coming back with this in the next episode. For now, though, this has been Ghostman Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.